the 9 GHz search and rescue radar transponder is an important safety device and it must be checked annually or during show-based maintenance. The International Maritime Organization requires that all GMDSS radio equipment is maintained to ensure that it meets the appropriate performance requirements. In the case of the test failure, ship may be detained in port. Here is new SART tester SDU-1. It is very small and lightweight. It allows ensuring that SART meets the appropriate performance requirements and with help of it we will perform the testing of this radar SART. For operation you will need special software that is easily downloaded and installed to any computer. Windows, Mac, OS X and Linux are compatible. Go to the GMDSS testers website, menu Downloads and get the latest version of MRTS7M software. It's free of charges, just if you are a new user, the registration on the site is required. Register here or login. Now download the app. Install the downloaded software in a standard way and run the software. For the first time, you will need to create a profile in the software. We advise you to do it with the same login and password as a GMDSS testers website for your convenience. Connect the STU-1 to the computer with the help of the USB cable supplied in the testers complete set. Then go to the download data menu. For the first connection on Windows, you will need to press button Connect COM port manually. This is the Start Tester operation window. Here is Start Test button and the Check Pass status. When the Start passes the test successfully, the Check status shows OK. So press Start Test. Turn on the Start and here the measurements begin. We hear audio confirmation of signal presence. We see the sweep tone signal in a saw like graphic with 12 sweeps. The check pass status now shows OK, so the SART has passed the test. Here are minimum and maximum frequencies checked, level of signal in milliwatts, response signal duration, number of sweeps, they are 12 and here they are on the graphic. Also the tester has measured the distance to the SART at radial line. The distance should be around 6 miles. This means that on the radar the SART will be displayed in this way. So the test is passed and it is passed very quickly. Don't forget to turn off the SART. Now we can save the measurements. And open the results. Here they are. Input SART data. and vessel details here. Now just generate test report by simply pressing this button. This test report can be saved or printed immediately like we do. Here is ready test report. We can sign and issue it to the captain of the vessel. With help of new SAR tester STU-1, an inspector can quickly check any 9 GHz radar SART to assure that it works properly and will send strong and stable emergency signal in emergency situation if such occurs. We wish you be safe and never need an emergency equipment. Subscribe to our channel and you will find a lot of videos of GMDSS equipment testing.